Redneck 007. Golly. I've really been walking around that in the middle of my fucking forehead. Okay. Yeah, I'm smoking. I'm under a lot of pressure here. So. Played in three tournaments so far. Cashed in two of them. Yay. But the slots have been killing me. But, thanks to me, my aunt will be a diamond. You're welcome. In no time. Yeah, I have not been playing on my card. Eh, I'm already a diamond. And uh, all I wanted was the diamond lounge. So that's what we got. But... Uh, what is it today? Ah! Oh, it is early. And it's raining. And I need sleep. But. Met some great people. Like I had a bunch of stuff I was going to talk about. But I can't even remember now. It's like almost almost zero six. It's like zero five forty something. And uh Yeah, but the slots they've been killing me. I need stuff from damn slots. So uh what the hell was I gonna say? I can't even remember now. I don't know. So, let's just go to the room. One cigarette, I'm good. Uh, I don't even remember what I really was going to say. I really, really don't. But, tomorrow, or today, rather, Kicks off the World Series of Poker, and I'm gonna get in the an event. I'm not sure which one. I mean, kind of blew my bankroll. Literally the first night, whole bankroll, blown it. And then I've been grinding away. Damn you, blackjack. I mean. Yeah, we won't go into that. So, uh, but I do want to thank Harris Cherokee. Because not all Harris treat you like Cherokee. Only Cherokee treats you like Cherokee. It's my peoples. I'm able to establish a wired data connection. Imagine that. All right. I'm at my room. And I always elect out of the housekeeping so I can get the 20 free play and chips. So it is jacked up. And when I say I, hey, y'all know when I first got here, I unpacked, right? Hey, I packed back up because I thought I was going to have to leave early. <laughs> Look, I even packed my laptop. So, uh,. Yeah, I've been grinding away, but I got my cruise. Complimentary cruise. Oh, oh yeah. My army bro in Vietnam has found a riverboat. It's like a like a bed and breakfast for $339,000. And together both of us go in on that and you know five years is paid for six maybe so you know that might be the business venture to go into i don't know um but god my you can see i got the poker eyes so golly i'm tired I'm sore my shoulders Oh, everything hurts. So. Uh, 
I'm going to hit the rack. I'm right, sorry when I get up. God almighty. It's not like I freaking sweat or nothing. Hell, if you do anything, you freeze to death in here. The poker room anyway, especially at night. So, uh, y'all wish me luck. I won't be able to upload all this until everything's said and done. Because one thing about here in the Cherokee National Forest, there is no service. None. It is inexistent. And Sprint sucks balls. I would not advocate for Sprint if they paid me. I don't care what they paid me. I mean, because truth's the truth. Sprint sucks. That's all there is to it. Don't go Sprint. Because you'll be walking around like, like this. All the time. But, uh, yeah, my bankroll is getting a little bit bigger. I mean, I did really, really, God. first day, and I've been having to grind, grind and pray and pray and grind, but we're good. Second, five more days. Yeah, I can last five days. Um. Oh man. So hey, thanks to all the new subscribers, support for the support, showing love. Met a lot of great people at the poker table. Oh, golly. And uh, even though the last two tournaments I made it to the money, the very last tournament we ended up chopping it four ways, which was all right with me. I was tired and I was over it. I had to eat. I've been eating at the Diamond Lounge. If anybody don't know, if uh, you don't have twenty five thousand points and you're true diamond, um. Well, true diamond to the diamond lounge anyway. You had to pay ten bucks or, you know, a thousand reward credits. So that's that's what I've been doing. Is I've been playing on my aunt's card and she is officially almost a diamond. So when we go to horseshoe in September down in Tunica. Uh, she'll be a full-fledged diamond. And, I don't know. My mom's already a diamond. And, um, I just miss being a seven star, to be honest with you. But I'm gonna, I don't know, I'm gonna take a shower. Yeah, I'm gonna take a shower. Burn. Like, like I'm burnt out. Burn out. On poker. Oh, I was going to show you the, the shirt real quick, but, well, anyway, you can get this shirt right here. <laughs> it says, fuck ISIS. God may have mercy on them, but we will not. And uh, you can get that at rednecknation.com. We'll get you one today. Uh, like everybody, you know, has complimented me on the shirt. You know, I mean, how far? When you used to call for fire, you know, basically just kill the insurgents for a living while trying to stay alive, uh, kind of goes with the territory. I always tell everybody, you know, I'm not trying to offend anybody, but uh, fuck ISIS. That's right, Haji. And I know not all of them are Hajis are bad and all that. Because if if you've been with me for a while, you'll know that I've got Muslim family, like blood. Yeah. I mean, 
Not really a long story, but my mom's oldest aunt married an Arab. She had two children. And uh, true story, they're all true. I almost shot. Yeah, got that PTSD. And before, you know, I got caught growing marijuana in the state of Tennessee. It's therapeutic. I had ladybugs. Uh... I was living in Decatur, Georgia, and my cousin Jamil decided he wanted to crash at his mom's, which his mom was not there. She was with uh, this Vietnam veteran named Terry, Terry Elliott. Terry, I don't even know if you subscribe to me. I don't even think you know what YouTube is, but uh, he's out in Sedona. Sedona, Arizona, something like that. Nevada, Arizona, I don't know. Some one of them hot uh, western states. But anyway, so Jamil comes in, and it's dark, you know. Like, the only thing I had was my TV. And I was, you know, just, I got insomnia. I was watching uh, Chuck Norris and Claudia Schiffer on Total Gym. So I muted it because I heard something, and I noticed the cat reaction, you know, ran down to the down to the door there was like five steps going down past the hallway and then boom there's the kitchen and then you know go left in the living room it's kind of open floor plan and uh yeah I about shot my cousin you want to talk about some traumatic shit <laughs> that would have sucked but uh but i didn't jamil i'm glad uh you didn't get shot you know because i love you and all that and, um, moral of the story, if you have PTSD, do not have a firearm close by. Actually, I mean, it's good too. And, I mean, I was in Decatur. Come on, you know. Thought somebody was breaking in. And as soon as he flipped the light on, and then I saw him, and he had the big beard at the time, and, you know, the, the hair going on, and I'm laying in the prone, you know. <laughs> At the top of the steps. God. Oh, Giselle. Yeah. Damn. That was, that's bad. That's bad. So I guess it's a good thing I can't fight on firearms anymore in Sullivan County. Confiscated all my weapons. Fuck you, Sullivan County. Uh, because, man, I had a nice M4, red dot scope, fucking gangster grip on it, you know, the donkey dick. Um, a couple 20 round mags. Oh, uh, what else that thing have on it? That's it. But I, hey man, I, golly, had a badass moss bird. Anyway, I don't even give a shit to own firearms. Certified fucking master gunsmith. Can't even own firearm. So, fuck Tennessee with your fucking laws. Shove them up your ass. I'm going to Vietnam where the grass is greener. Get away from this fucking terrorist who... Probably always call me, I don't know, because fucking Facebook and shit. And if y'all don't know, yeah, you know, the FBI investigated some shit, showed it up in my house. Two agents. Yeah, good times. Anyway, I'm jumping the shower. Fucking. I guess it's a good thing I do have insomnia. Even though I'm tired, I could go to another 18, 24, 28. 36, 108 hours. I really can't. <laughs> getting old. Getting old for shit. But, um, anyway, thanks for everybody who, uh, who I met. And, you know, hope y'all enjoyed the content. I hate long videos, so, uh, it is not the weekend, so no safety briefing. And, uh, oh my god, oh my neck. Got poker neck going. Oh, and if that dude wants to know what I went all in with, I had deuces.
<laughs> I'm pretty sure you have like eights or tens. But I had deuces. But, hey, you got to make a move in a tournament, and that's what brought me to the final table. And uh, there were some hands I didn't get in that I should have been in. So, you know, it all equals out. But, um, yeah, as a semi-bluff, I had something. But I knew you had better. But with the board showing, and when I told you, I said, you let me catch up. That's bullshit. Taught you, how to, taught you into folding. So, anyway, if you see me at the table, just know that I only bluff when I have to. All right. Love y'all. Stay safe. Yeah, I need a, I need some motion. I can't hold it. I, I can't hold it steady. And my phone, I don't know what the hell it's doing, but it's got like a, a line down it. I don't know. But anyway, yeah, I did that. So this has been Redneck 007, former specialist James Webb. Call me anything you want to. Just don't call me PewDiePie or Rice Gum because I done challenged them and they have not answered that challenge. I'm out.